Hey guys, what's up? It's Lumpy here from Conspicuous Graphics. Um, I'm here with my uh, two co-workers slash hosts, uh, Rex Static, or Rexy, and Maxi Pads. Yo. Say what's up. Alright. Yo, what's up, guys? Alright, and, up? and so, static? Yeah. T today, we're going to start up our new series called A to Z with Graphics. Pretty okay. much, what, what we do is we take each letter of the alphabet, and we break it down into topics within that letter that do with graphics and so this week we're doing letter a and so we have we're starting off with after effects advertisement and uh avatars so max is gonna start off with after effects so let's go go all right yo what's up guys max again didn't really do a full introduction but um anyways just first I'd like to point out really quickly first two seconds uh background behind me just have to you know, be a biased bitch and put that out there. But anyways, if you don't know what Adobe After Effects is, it is a program used for video editing, such as Call of Duty montages, whatever you want to do with editing. Um, if you ever are looking forward to getting to After Effects, the main thing, first thing you want to do is make sure you have your programs, your plugins. The main plugins you want to worry about, Twixter, Twitch, Magic Bullet Looks, Optical flares, there are a million other ones, but those are the main ones you want to worry about. Once you get your plugins, you're all good to go. Then you want to start on getting a workflow, and you want to start getting good at it, experimenting. Don't put your first stuff that you very make on YouTube like I did. I have three OCEs up on my channel, and those are the only edits. I personally look back at them, I don't like them. I didn't even make them on After Effects. I made them on Sony Vegas, which is, once you use After Effects, you'll hate Sony Vegas. But... Once you, uh, you want to get a workflow started, uh, you want to go through your clips, put them all together, sync them with your music, watch it through, see how it looks, make sure everything is synced correctly, put in your cinematics. If you don't know what cinematic is, it's just basically uh, any little clip just so you can add it into a clip just to make it look better. Basically, a Call of Duty cinematic would be like just a quick little clip of the map in like theater mode or something. But put in your cinematics, have your music linked, watch it through, make sure everything's where you like it. Then you want to, the best thing to do is put in your effects after that, such as color corrections, slow motions, um, refined edges, shit like that. I don't know, I said refined edges, um, fine edges, that's the word I'm thinking of. But watch that through, make sure everything's where you like it. Then you're on to your final part, make sure, just watch it one last time. Uh, then render it, and the best thing to do is send it to a friend. Get it from someone else's perspective. See how they like it. Let them tweak it out with you. And once it's at the point where you like it, just render it, put it on YouTube. Uh, yeah, just don't let people hate on you. It's fine. And that's all I have for After Effects. And now moving on to Lumpy. Alright, guys. Um, so I'm going to be talking about advertisement. And now, when I'm saying advertisement, I really don't mean go to, like, some big company and, like, purchase ads on their website or stuff like that. Sign spinners. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. And when I mean advertisement, I'm thinking, I'm talking about, like, Twitter and Facebook and things like that. Get your name out there. I mean, go follow a bunch of people. Get, just start getting your name out there. Let people know who you are and what you do. And eventually, you'll grow your audience that way. But... With advertising, like, another thing is, talk to other YouTubers. Like, talk to other graf graphic designers, other editors, whatever you are. The, I mean, that's, like, the number one thing you have to do in order to be successful on YouTube or anything you do is communicate with other people through, through YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. <clears throat> that is a key thing when it comes to uh, your graphic business or editing side job, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's all I have for uh, advertisement, and so now, Cody, you up for avatars. Okay, so there's basically only one thing I wanted to say about avatars, but an av start up with basically the definition of an avatar. Av avatar is an image with a logo in it, and most people think that an avatar is a logo, but a logo is basically just a symbol that represents you. And I just want to clarify that when you're asking for a logo, or that's just the basic logo, like the symbol that's going to represent you. And an avatar 
that's just basically just that logo with a bunch of other cool shit added along with it to make it look fucking awesome. I just wanted to clarify that because, I don't know, it kind of annoys me when people get that confused. So, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about avatars. Alright, that's it, guys. Uh, if you watched this video up to here, thank you very much. We a uh, like, comment, subscribe. It only takes a couple seconds. It really helps us out um, and just keeps us motivated to make videos. Um, we'll still be doing our uh, weekly update video, and we promise that next time, instead of just having a graphic in the background, we'll try and get a speed art, a gameplay, something to keep your eyes entertained. You know, some eye candy. So, uh, that's it for this, uh, for today, I should say. I think we'll have some more shit being updated through the week. But, uh, have a happy Martin Luther King Day, Black Pride, I'm white. Sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, all right. so, this has been Rex Static and, uh, Lumpy and Max. Yeah. And with graphics. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice weekend, and happy Super Bowl. All right, uh, on another thing is... If for next week's episode, for the letter B, comment down below on what you think we should talk about. We, we'll take the top three. If there is three, if not, we'll just make up our own. But we'll take the top three um, uh, uh, topics to t talk about for the letter B, and we'll use those for our uh, commentary next week. So, guys, yet again, this has been Lumpy, Maxi, and Rexy. I hope you enjoyed it.